Should you still throw a client appreciation event or is that a thing of the past? Over the next few minutes, what we're gonna be sharing with you is exactly how you can leverage client events, not to only attract more referrals, but build a large personal brand and turn your client events into a marketing activity that everybody in your community knows about. Look, when it comes to advertising or marketing as a real estate agent, the number one thing you can do is sort of stay on top of mind. Top of mind brand awareness is essential for anyone within the real estate industry because this is a referral dominated business. But so many people have trouble and problems being like, how do I market my database without always being self-serving? And you know exactly what I'm talking about. You don't wanna call someone up and beg for business or ask for referrals because let's be honest, that sounds desperate. And most times when you're asking, you can almost smell the commission breath coming out of your mouth, can't you? Oh my goodness, it already stank, oh my. Well, that's one of the reasons why you would actually have or host a client appreciation event. Now, when people think about hosting a client appreciation event, the first reservation that comes to mind is, are people actually going to come or is this gonna be really boring and it's gonna cost a ton of money and I'm just gonna look stupid at the end of the day? First and foremost, that is absolutely wrong in every aspect of the way. And when you have a client event, I don't really care about how many people show up, I care about how you market it. Because at the end of the day, a client event is a marketing activity that gives you, a real estate agent or a lender, an excuse to tell everyone you're in real estate without telling anyone you're in real estate. So let's go a little deeper. Now when you have a client event, let's just say this year I'm gonna have a client event this July. Let's think about how we're gonna actually market and fill that client event. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna send over a direct mail invite. Yes, I do direct mail invites for all client events. It's physical, it's gonna come to people, and three, it's just gonna be something they could physically touch. Now, I'm gonna send that direct mail invite to all of my direct mail list that I have, which should be something that you're already marketing to your database. But again, that is just one touch. When people receive the direct mail invite, they have to recall or remember that you're in real estate. Therefore, it does the job of accomplishing what marketing's all about, top of mind, brand awareness. Check. The next thing you're gonna do is send out several different email invites for your client event. So for example, if I have a client event coming up in 45 days, from now up until the time of the event, I'm probably sending at least two to probably four different emails to my entire email list, reminding them of the event, telling them of the event, and most importantly, just staying on top of mind. Number three, social media. You're gonna consistently market this event on social media. There's so many different types of posts. You could do a preview post. Hey, I'm just previewing upcoming places to have my client event. Would you do it here or would you do it there? Then you have a, I chose the location event. Post number three could be straight invite and so could post number four. Hey guys, are you coming to my client event? I have an open bar, I have free food, I have this, I have that. Whatever the structure of your event is, whether it's a pickleball tournament or it's a party, you go ahead and you market it appropriately. And number four, you're gonna get video footage and pictures from the event. After the event, you're gonna take pictures of everyone who showed up to the event, whether it's five people, 10 people, or 100 people. And the pictures are gonna remind everyone of the event. In addition, you're gonna send a video to everyone who attended and didn't attend the event, thanking them for their attendance, and if they couldn't make it, they can make it next year, but you just wanted to send them a recap video about the event. But here's the key, when you have the event, it's not to have an event. The key of having an event is to build your database and shake hands with kids' babies. Let me explain. One of the best things you could do in any event you have is encourage everyone to invite friends, invite family members, whoever they want. And at the event you're having, whatever type it is, you're gonna have a sign-in sheet. The sign-in sheet at the event is going to ask for a couple things. Direct mail list and email. Whether it's an email or direct mail, 10 to 15% of the people are gonna be moving this year who receive your content going forward. But 100% of them will have a referral for you. So I use events to build a database and shake hands personally so I can stay on top of mine and farm people or nurture them until they either A, have a referral for me or B, need to buy or sell themselves. But the next question people have is, well, this event is gonna be costly. Do I really want to pay money for this event? Let's do the math. Let's go out and say that you spent $3,000 on an event. I've never had an event where I didn't walk away with a client or at least receive some referrals from it. But let's just say in the matter of the average sales price in your market is about $400,000. Now, assuming that you would collect a 2.5% commission on a $400,000 sale, that would equate to roughly $10,000. 
Now, if my goal was just to generate one client of an average sale price per event I have, that would be my goal. If I made $10,000 from that client, minus the $3,000, I would have a net of $7,000, simple math. But the true value in holding the event was all of the marketing activities I told you about. So folks, I want you to remember one thing. Real estate is nothing more than a giant popularity contest. And the more people that know what you do for a living, that you could form a personal relationship with, it'll do wonders for your business. If you like what you saw here, make sure you go check out the rest of the videos on our channel and our website and explore more content that helps you build your personal brand and start attracting business because chasing it, let's be honest, that sucks.